Trump judicial appointments filled with Clarence Thomas clerks. Th Guardian reported that there is one area in which Trump has made the long-held dreams of his conservative supporters come true, the remaking of the federal judiciary. By making an unusually high number of appointments to federal courts, Trump could profoundly remake large parts of American life, even if the Republicans lose every post-Trump presidential election for the next 20 years. One credential in particular has been a boon to candidates President Donald Trump considers for judicial appointments, a clerkship with Justice Clarence Thomas. As of this writing, the president has appointed seven Thomas clerks to the federal appeals courts, while an eighth is expected in the near future. As such, Thomas's legal approach, sometimes branded unusual or idiosyncratic, can claim adherence among a new generation of judges. At this point, Justice Thomas is clearly the leading intellectual force on the conservative side of the bench, said Kerry Severino, a former Thomas clerk who leads the Judicial Crisis Network, an advocacy group that supports Trump's efforts to recast the judicial branch. His principled approach to the law is very much in the ascendancy, and those are the kind of judges that this president has pledged for the courts, Severino added. Thomas generally hires law clerks who share his originalist judicial philosophy. Among the Supreme Court's conservatives, he is somewhat unique in that respect. Former Justice Antonin Scalia periodically hired liberal counterclerks to sharpen his work, while the hiring practices of other conservatives like Chief Justice John Roberts and Justice Brett Kavanaugh appears slightly more varied. I'm not going to hire clerks who have profound disagreements with me," Thomas said during a 1999 lecture at the National Center for Policy Analysis. Someone said that it's like trying to train a pig. It wastes your time and it aggravates the pig. As such, the Thomas Chambers are an incubator for elite conservative legal talent, producing a pool of candidates for executive and judicial appointments in Republican administrations. The Thomas clerk who most recently took the bench is Judge Allison Rushing, who was confirmed to the 4th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals on Tuesday. Democrats and civil rights groups opposed her nomination. The six other Thomas clerks confirmed to the federal appeals courts under Trump include Judge Allison Ide, who took Justice Neil Gorsuch's seat on the 10th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals. Judge Jim Ho for the 5th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals, Judge David Strauss for the 8th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals, Judge Eric Miller for the 9th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals, Judge Greg Maggs for the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Armed Forces and Judge Greg Katzes for the U.S. Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit. Thomas, who has served on the court for over 25 years and will turn 71 in June, may well be succeeded by one of his own clerks. Iden Strauss are on the president's list of possible nominees for the Supreme Court. Judge Margaret Ryan of the Armed Forces Appeals Court, a Thomas clerk whom former President George W. Bush appointed, is also listed. Naomi Rao, who clerked for Thomas in the 2001 term, is currently awaiting confirmation to the D. C Circuit. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell teed up a clotcher vote on her nomination Thursday, meaning a final confirmation vote will likely come next week. Social conservatives met Rao's nomination with skepticism, prompting several Republican lawmakers to consult privately with Thomas, though the substance of those discussions has not been made public.